Hi, well, I'm a volunteer. I've been volunteering for about two years in Health Watch Croydon, but um, I kind of do a lot of volunteering. This is one of six organisations I volunteer with. Um, and one of the things I want to say, which if I was wanting, if I was thinking about joining um, a voluntary organisation would be really important to me. Because I, I've been involved in so many, some really value their volunteers, some work with their volunteers, some empower their volunteers, and some use their volunteers to tick boxes. Well, Healthwatch Croydon really values, really empowers, and really does work together. So it's something that is worth doing. Pluses about it, what do I get out of it? Well, um, one of the key things is that everybody has an interest in health and or social care. Well, yeah, most of us. I, come, I came into it because I have two adult children now um, who have learning disabilities and autism. Um, so it was the social care side that was interested to me. But obviously all of us have health needs at some stage, um, unless we're very, very lucky. Um, and, and a lot of us will be directly affected by social care issues, either now or in the future, or extended members of our family. Sorry. Um, does that make any difference? <laughs> sorry, sorry if anybody couldn't hear. I thought I had a loud voice. Um, so, uh, yeah, so um, it, it's um, the, one of the exciting things is, is the mix of people. So my bag, if you like, is autism and learning disability. There'll be somebody else who is, is interested in uh, black and ethnic minority uh, communities. There'll be somebody else who's interested in mental health. And it's a really vibrant thing to be with a, a whole load of, and a lot of you are sitting out there now, a whole load of really, really proactive, can-do people who actually want to make a difference and don't want it to be a talking shop. And that, if I stress nothing else, it's that. This is not a talking shop. We actually really do achieve things. Um, I've been doing interim views, which are a really interesting thing to do, and I think they're really important for the people who live or, or are in hospital in those places. Um, and I think, to me, one of the most rewarding bits was uh, one of the interim views I'd done. When, when I'd submitted the report, or Healthwatch Croydon had submitted the report to the manager, um, he contacted me later and said, oh, I used it in my supervision. So it was a really, he was happy that it was a really balanced report, which I think is really important. And just to emphasise what Charlie was saying, that it is about, you know, the positives as well as the negatives. So the interim view is something I can speak of, of with, with great personal experience. And also I've just been involved in the patient experience panel. And I mean, that may be something that people are not interested in or something that, that people think is fantastic. It is actually... Um, as Charlie was saying, you're coding all these, these, um, all this feedback that comes from patients, so that you can actually get real. So it's not anecdotal anymore. There's actual data there that you can you can use. And to me, that is really, really exciting because you can take it forward to people. So if you're not one of these people that wants to kind of, you know, go into into homes or into hospitals or whatever, but would like to do something that is really going to make a difference, then I'd highly recognize, recommend that you you explore the patient experience panel because it, it produces something which is really effective and important. And I'm going to stop there because I think there's a lot more interesting things to come. Thanks.